I hate Christmas. It is the biggest reminder of how unfun Jewish holidays really are. While Christian families gather around a perfectly decorated tree, laughing, singing merrily, and dancing with holiday joy, Jews crowd around a tiny, sad metal menorah, lighting little candles. To be fair, the reasons behind the two holidays really don't compare. It's the birth of the Messiah. Against some oil lasted a few days longer than we thought. Who knew? It was very nice and it saved us some time. <laughs> the real Scrooges aren't bitter men people overset, upset over joy. They're Jews. Cranky over having a whole month of a totally fun holiday crammed down our throats. And in spite of the happy face lies we toss out to little Moshe and Deborah so they don't feel so bad, Hanukkah just doesn't compare. Sure, dreidel was cool in 1000 BC, but it doesn't have a magical jolly gift giver flying a sleigh through the air. And you don't really get eight days of presents. You get seven mediocre gifts and maybe one good one. Socks, new underwear, some crap from the dollar store, mazel tov. As a child, I was Christmas ignorant. Hanukkah was the holiday I knew. I was a kosher Jew who attended the Hebrew Day Institute, so most of my world revolved around other Jews. I was familiar with Christmas from TV shows, but it was a holiday for other kids, the ones in commercials who ate cheeseburgers and whose mothers made things like casseroles and had names like Misty. <laughs> we were the awkward other. We ate vegetarian food at restaurants and hauled boxes of matzah to Disney World the one year we went during Passover. Because that is what Jews do. We suffer and we make jokes about it. <laughs> when I was 14 and finally entered public high school, I saw what I was really missing. The joy, the merriment, the gifts. My Jewish bubble had shattered. I tried to trade presents with my Christian friends, but it became ridiculous. Hanukkah would fall at random times, sometimes weeks before Christmas, and it wasn't the same. None of the Christians knew what to do with us. Friends would give me these festively decorated gifts with overflowing bows, and I'd have some dark, depressing blue wrapping paper with Hebrew writing on it. <laughs> My mother always tried to make Hanukkah stand on equal footing with Christmas, but it never worked. While well, she would make deep fried potato pancake latkes with applesauce and give us chocolate money. Way to break stereotypes, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All my Christian friends would get stockings overflowing with all kinds of sugary goodness. My mother would decorate with these foil banners saying Happy Hanukkah that would limply dangle in her kitchen. She'd place an electric menorah in the window where we turned on a different light bulb for each night. And if you looked down her street and somehow were able to see past the blinding glare of all the Christmas displays, you might just make out a sad orange glow in one of her windows. Christmas seems... <laughs> Christmas seems so tidy and neat. I marveled at the cool blinking lights, a perfectly decorated tree, smells of nutmeg and jinger, and all the festive and fun songs. Hanukkah's just messy. We would unroll sheets of aluminum foil on the counter because the candles would fall out and we'd have to burn our fingers stuffing them back in. Wax would still end up all over the kitchen and the air reeked of burnt oil and singed fingers. And I knew far away from my house, my Christian friends would be singing songs about magical things in the North Pole. <laughs> While we had three sets of modified prayers we said over the candles. Baruch atah Adonai Reheinu Melech Olam Lahadlik Nera Shel Chanukah Ho Ho Ho. The truth is, honestly though, I never really wanted Christmas. It seemed like a fun holiday, but it was something that belonged to the goys, like being good at sports. <laughs> I never felt like part of that world, and I was okay with it. My grandparents were Holocaust survivors, and I learned at a young age that a Jew embracing Christmas is the sort of thing that would make Hitler happy. <laughs> Christmas would be selling out, and I was a proud Jew in spite of our lame holidays. I wasn't jealous as much as annoyed by Christmas and how it pummeled all my senses. I became bitter. I would glower at all the Christians filled with holiday spirit on Christmas Eve 
and nod at all the other Jews reeking of Chinese food with candle-torched hands. <laughs> Eventually, I stopped celebrating Hanukkah altogether, but I still refused to embrace Christmas in any facet. And every year when Christmas music started playing, I would wrap myself in bitterness. <laughs> I remember walking through the mall, jingle bells blaring, and some woman approaching me with a clipboard mumbling about trees. I don't celebrate Christmas, I replied, walking away without looking back. You can still help the rainforest, she shouted. <laughs> <laughs> but I was already gone. When people wished me a Merry Christmas, it was all I could do to not reply, shove a Christmas tree up your ass. <laughs> I would leave stores and quickly offer the clerk a Merry Hanukkah, only to be greeted with Merry Christmas. One year I even bought Jewish star-shaped glasses and wore them the whole season. <laughs> and people still wished me a Merry Christmas. I tried to be more accepting and agreed to go to a boyfriend's ornament decorating party. I thought, I can do this. I've never decorated a tree. What's the harm one time? I painted my ornament in white and blue, just like the Israeli flag. This is a valid thing, I lied to myself. I still felt dirty. I felt like eating bacon. <laughs> As I hung it on the tree, I thought of my grandparents and all they endured in the concentration camps. Part of me imagined Hitler smiling and waving in the distorted light of the ornament. And then my boyfriend showed me one of his two nativity scenes. And that was two nativity scenes too many, as far as I was concerned. <laughs> Another year, I tried to get my revenge on Santa. I decided I would throw a party on Christmas Eve. I called it board games and booze, heathens and Jews. <laughs> I didn't expect much. I imagined outside of my few Jewish friends and my buddies who were estranged, no one would come. I thought every Christian went to mass and huddled around pictures of baby Jesus singing his praises but maybe I could peel a few away. And then this party would just me and a couple friends, but like the miracle of Hanukkah, it kept growing. <laughs> I ended up with 35 people at my house all night long, and there was no Christmas music, just booze and board games. I watched people pass out and we dragged them to the back room. People were throwing up, beers clinked all over while the rest of the world sang holy hymnals. I'd never felt like a better Jew. <laughs> I had struck back. But part of me still felt unfulfilled. I hadn't really done anything besides derail some well-intentioned Christians for the night, and my one-person party of bitter was getting pretty lonely. A couple years later, I decided to just avoid the holiday altogether as part of my nine-month fuck-off to Asia. I would go to a place where there wasn't Christmas. I ended up somewhere in Nepal traveling with Israelis, and I was surrounded by the holiday of Diwali, a delightfully awkward holiday. One day, all the dogs had colored necklaces and extra food because it was Dog Appreciation Day. The next day, all the cows had red dots and lays because it was Cow Day. It was bizarre and wonderful, and most importantly, definitely not Christmas. We went higher and higher each day. We finally reached the highest pass and spent a very cold night in the lodge at 17,000 feet. Clouds had enveloped the valley below, and I watched the sunset shivering. One of the Israelis tapped me on the shoulder and asked if I would like to light candles with them. I had no idea it was Hanukkah. I shrugged and fashioned a yarmulke out of a napkin. We said the prayer. I smelled the wax thick in the air and watched them burn on the windowsill. Everyone else went to bed and I just sat there staring at those candles. It was dark out and I saw my reflection. I remembered how it felt as a kid, that feeling of excitement for eight nights of opening gifts, even if seven of them sucked, <laughs> and just being with my family for a crappy Jewish holiday. I smiled. It was the furthest I had ever been from home, but it was the closest I felt to it in a long time. For the first time in years, I felt like Hanukkah wasn't just a reaction to Christmas. It was its own thing, and it was mine, and I wouldn't trade it for all the blinking lights and all the ho-ho-hoing in the world. <laughs>